Welcome to Caveman Bricks Builds and More. And today we are playing chess. Wait, I'm the Caveman. This is Dragon J Boy Gaming, and as you can tell, he's very excited for chess. Um, chess is something that I know that well, you learned at school, right? Yeah, I joined chess club, but I wasn't very good at it. Though. <laughs> but this is not any ordinary chess. This is Wizard's Chess from Harry Potter. Yes. So Lego Wizard's Chess. This is Lego set 76392. It is called Hogwarts Wizard's Chess. Um, I don't think this connects onto Hogwarts in any way, but it... This is supposed to be the giant battle. The giant, giant chess set inside giant? of Hogwarts. Giant chess set inside of Hogwarts. It is 876 pieces. Um... I don't know what's in here. Um, I do know that it is a chess set, so everything that's in black should be in white. They should match exactly. Um, if it doesn't, what we're going to do is we're going to split this video in two. We'll do half a build, come back, do the other half of the build. Today we're definitely going to a box. If we do the other half, we'll review. We'll kind of make that determination once we get it open and see the instructions. But what I'm hoping can actually happen is while one of us is building the white pieces, the other person can be building the black pieces. Hmm. Okay? Anyways. Um, but super excited for this. This is another 20th anniversary set. So let's go ahead and unbox it, shall we? I do Hang the unboxing. On. Oh, man. All right. The front. What do you see on the front? Obviously, we get... This is our third set in the row where the only mana figures that we get besides the anniversary one are Harry, Hermione, and Ron. Of course the trio. Um, however, they are wearing clothes that we've never seen them in before. Harry oh, apparently has on a red clothes? Yeah. Harry has on like a red sweater. Um Ron, Ron has on like a jacket kind of thing with a blue shirt underneath. A and wizard's her jacket. <laughs> then Hermione has on a green sweater. Why, do you think it's Christmas? I guess so. Um, obviously, we've got a couple of figures laying down over here. I'm not sure where they came from. Wait, that, I forgot if Harry and and the trio actually won that giant chess game. Yes, they, they had to, that was the only way to advance. Oh. Um, it does come with a golden figure. The golden figure for this is Professor Snape. Um, the last video that we made, things have changed since the last video that came out not that long ago. And that when we made that video, there were only six golden figures. There are now nine golden figures. Uh, coming in September is a brand new set under the title Hogwarts Collection. Ooh. I personally think that that's going to be kind of the Harry Potter version of the Ultimate Collector series that exists for Star Wars. So I think that maybe we're getting a new like Ultimate Collector series for Harry Potter called Hogwarts Collection. The first one will feature Hedwig, um, but it has a lot of things. Harry's wand, uh, a Gryffindor scarf, a whole well, bunch of things. Instead of the normal uh, flapping wings Hedwig, we get him standing up yeah. open wings. So basically um, a giant minifigure. But that new set came with three new golden figures. Hagrid, McGonagall, and Dumbledore. And Hagrid. really, Dumbledore was the big missing one. Like, Hagrid and McGonagall are cool, but not to include Dumbledore was just really weird. So it's really cool. Yeah, they replaced him with Quill or... Uh, yes. Um, so, but in this one, we do get Snape, okay? Uh, we do have that new anniversary logo on here with the three. Anything else you notice about the front? I mean, it does look like a full chest set. It doesn't look like we're missing any pieces. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like you can actually play chess yep. with this. So, yep. Lego chess. Also, one thing I wanted to note is that these little torches on the edges. Uh huh. What about them? They're just there? Yeah, yeah okay. unlike normal chess. Alright, let's look at the back here. Okay. Alright. Uh, we do get the dimensions. Our chessboard is 27 meters or 10.6 inches by 27 meters, centimeters. Do we actually have to use the trio as a uh, chess pieces though? I do not believe so. Or 10.6 inches. So the board is a perfect square. Um, 
It does look like you can put Ron on a piece, but on the front, he was not on it, so it looks like it's okay to not be on there. We do get three, three chocolate time. frog cards. Breaking the record of two. Yeah. It does show us we get eight pawns, two, um, two castles, two knights, two rooks, one king, one the queen, one king. The, rooks. the what are the ones that go diagonally? Bishops. Oh, okay. So two, two rooks, two bishops. Okay. Wait, how do you I know how to play chess really well. I don't know the names really well. Both in black and white. So they're, they are the same. And just by looking at it, I cannot see anything in the builds between the black and the whites that are any different whatsoever. <gasps> what, what else do you see, Judah? I see something amazing. What? So back when I really wanted to... Can I see the box? Uh -huh. Back when I really wanted to build this set, I was wondering if if the if we could make the pieces explode like in the thing and on the box if you see this. Uh huh. And you can see little kind of tiny connections, I guess. I guess it may only be this one. But it looks like it's supposed to like pop off like it exploded. Mm, I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the top here. Harry is going to be our comparison piece. We do get the three figures along with three um, black um, chess pieces. Uh, in the movie, they took the place of some pieces, um, which we see illustrated here on the back, uh, but the pieces are still there. You're not missing them. Um, on this oh, side, there's we, a uh, kind of design failure on this side. I think. Well, Look. No, I think that's how it's supposed to be. Why? I don't know. Uh, you do have the snake figure along with all those different languages. Oh. On this side, you've got the two different language. Woo! Anniversary pieces, and then on the bottom, you got the UPC. This is a punch out box, which is extremely disappointing for a set of this size. That's but weird. What's it, inside? What's inside? What's inside? Um. Three, maybe two bags? Three, maybe two bags. That, yeah, that's like a weird two, way four, to... one inside, and then the final for this. Maybe oh. four bags for this. Okay. Um. I don't think there's gonna be any stickers, so zero stickers. Okay. And one instruction book. Okay. So you're saying four bags, no stickers. I one said instruction. maybe. I can't. No, you gotta pick a number. Um, 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 four. Okay. I'm gonna say just based on the number of pieces. Five numbered bags, no sticker sheet, one instruction book. What I'm really hoping though is that you build the black and the white at the same time. Even if you don't, I think we're gonna be able to just do that and do this in one video. There's number two, number three, number five, number one. Non-numbered bag, so none of us are right. Well, the non-numbered bags don't count. You said five numbered bags. One, two, three. Where's bag number four? Okay, look, the six numbered bag. Bag number four. Okay. So, even though it separates the instructions for black and white, I think we're just going to go ahead and do black and white at the same time. Don't you? No. Okay. Hey, Dad. I don't Dad. see any sticker sheet. Can I... Please talk. Yep. You were technically wrong because these there are two num number one. No, bags that's not how we've ever oh. done it. I oh, okay. Do know that. Okay. 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 I thought you said five numbered bags, so weird. Okay. So in bag one, you build the base. In bag two and three, you build the characters for black. In bag four and five, you build the characters for white. Bag one has Snape, Harry, and the Chocolate Frog cards. Bag three has Hermione, and bag four has Ron. Oh, I'm sorry. Bag one has one chocolate frog card. 
bag three has one chocolate frog card and oh, bag four has one chocolate frog that's card. That's new? Yeah, so they split them up. Bag one, Snape and Harry. Bag three, Hermione. Bag four, Ron. So each bag that you build a minifigure in, you get one chocolate frog card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the base and then- uh, Which number one are they talking about though? Both? Yeah. Oh. Um, do you want to build black or white? When I was in chess club, I always liked white. Okay. So I'll choose white. Okay. I'm going to just go on the assumption that there's literally no difference between black and white. And when we get to that, we I will mean, just. Besides the movie yeah. We will just follow the instructions for black and then we'll double check. And make, if, if we have a lot of pieces left over for white, then we'll know that we did something. Actually, <laughs> that would be weird. Okay. Oh, we got a brick separator. I think this is our first anniversary set with a brick separator. And we are back to orange. No! Why? This is literally one of the most newest sets. It is, and we're back to orange. Why does it have orange? Maybe it's part of the anniversary thing. Brother, that or uh, they're More gold ones. Brother, that were while they were making this in particular set, they... Okay, here's the chocolate frog card. It's upside down. I haven't seen it. Which chocolate frog card do you think it is? Let's build the minifigures for good luck first. Okay, we just need to do it. We need to do it. Um, Why is there tires? Um, what in the world? Why are there tires? It there looks, are two tires. It will explain, Dad. Do you have Harry's torso? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think you have it. Right Dad there. always. Oh wait, do you have golden hair? No, and I also don't. Have... Oh wait, found them. Okay. I'm also. Am I missing anything? This no. Time? Okay, yeah, yeah. No. Here's Harry's one. Anyways, okay. today I'm gonna dye my hair gold. And what do you think? I don't think Snape ever did anything fun. Ever. No, I'm talking like I took Harry and uh, put Snape's hair on. I mean, he had fun when he was with Lily, when they were kids. Maybe. Didn't you see them literally laughing on that hillside in the flashback of the movie? Yeah. Laughing, having a good time, having fun. F-U-N with a capital F fun. Not everyone is evil. Good. Not everyone. At someone. If there's one person in the world that never had a fun part in their life, then that's just messed up. Don't. Voldemort really didn't. I mean, besides, well, he, I think he had a sort of good time meeting Dumbledore. Oh, yeah. Like, finding out there was someone weird like him. A school for him? Yeah. Okay. Wait, was he expelled from multiple schools? No. Okay. Was he transferred from multiple schools? No, because he grew up in an orphanage. Why? Because he was an orphan. What about his mom and dad? His mom died at childbirth and his dad was under a um, love potion and left. Okay. Okay. Well. Alright, you have both figures built? Okay. Wait. The most rarest card in Davia! Okay. Who do you think it is? Uh... What's the rarest card? I don't know. I don't know that any of them are more rare than any others. The... The Golden Back Dumbledore. Okay, I'm going to say Godric Gryffindor. Okay. And it is... I think it's Helga Hufflepuff. I'm not sure. Here's the front card. I don't... Let, let's check? look in the back. I forget that there's a checklist in the back. Um, 
Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas? Nicholas Flamel. The faker? Huh? The faker. Okay, Judah, I didn't see this, but we have to do this four times. So why don't you grab some and we'll do it together, okay? Um, I said the faker. Though. He's not a faker. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I thought he was the one that wrote Magic for Me. No. No. Nicholas Fomel is the person that created the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, right. Uh, oh. Okay, do you need to put it over here? You don't need anything from the pile underneath there anyway. Okay. Then you, then I should double the pieces for every step. No, just do it once for now, okay? Okay. And I think these are gonna be the, basically this is gonna be the board. Yeah, I, it's the frame of the board. No. We're doing it like a puzzle, filling the outside, then filling the inside. No. with black pieces is that we're building on a com on a pitch black table. No we're not. Our table is brown. Well it, it's close so when it's like buried and like hard to see in pieces it like blends them really well. Hmm. I'm not having any issues. I, 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 I'm not saying you have with that problem but I think I have. finish your thing yet? Um, right, right, um. Uh, because I've almost done three of them. Uh, okay. I, I don't know. I'm just having some deep thoughts about the franchise. Oh, okay. Well, let's build. Right here. Okay. Then you need this piece right here. So one thing about chess and wizard's chess and this epic battle of chess that the kids go through is the trio. Uh -huh, is that um, I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but Ron had to play with a serious handicap. Do you know what that handicap was? What? He had to protect three, four pieces, while the other side, while the other side only had to protect four pieces. Or one piece, sorry. He had to protect four pieces, while the other side only had to protect one piece. Well, that would make it harder for him because there were more pieces for him to have to protect. You're right. right. So why so, is that a handicap? Because if you only have to protect one piece, then you can sacrifice other pieces. But he had to protect four pieces, and not just one. But handicap means help. No, handicap means that 
he had a harder time. Why is that? Why would a game cheat like that? The game didn't cheat, but he had to protect Harry. Couldn't sacrifice Harry. Oh, right. He had to protect Hermione. He had to protect himself, and he had to protect his king. Well, he did sacrifice himself at the very end. He did. So, technically, three. Yeah. And then Harry and Hermione weren't even on the pieces, really. But they were. They took the place of a piece. Really? He didn't ride on one, like, long? No. Okay. Okay, Judah, this we have to do two times. So why don't you go ahead and follow along with me. Okay, so in Wizard's Chess, are there any different rules compared to normal chess? I don't think so. I think the only difference is, is that the pieces are alive and move, and they're more willing to do something if they trust you. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there aren't any rule changes or anything? No, except that sometimes your pieces may not do what you want because they don't trust you. So you have to stick with the same set in order to get them to trust you? Yep. Do different sets have different, like, better stuff? stuff? Um, yeah, they might last longer, maybe. How would Ron and her, why would, I'm missing out a blue piece. A blue piece. Oh, wait, are we only supposed to have one each? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so how would Hermione and Harry actually destroy the big pieces? Is it whenever where they they are allowed to do it? Do, do they like, just touch it, it? Instead, they take the piece off the board, basically. Harry and Hermione? No. Or does it automatically? It automatically work? does it. But the rest of the birth pieces got destroyed. Yeah, but I think they come back. I thought like if Harry or Hermione like touched it, it would like automatically like crumble. Like, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't Voldemort die because he was touching Harry so long whenever they were in that little mist thing at the end of the movie? Because Voldemort could touch Harry, but only for a, a, a certain amount of time, and it wasn't very short. Long. What are you talking about? What mist thing? You know, the Death Eaters used to transport, like, they turn into, like, this mist. Oh, you're like, talking about in the last movie? Yeah. Because like, he could touch Harry at that point. But only for a certain amount of time, as we see when he comes back for the first time. No, no, no. Because oh. he had Harry's blood in him. That was part of his resurrection. Okay. So he could touch Harry. Definitely. Mm -hmm. he, Harry no longer had his mother's protection because Harry's blood was in Voldemort. So Voldemort shared that protection. So, so that's what why they needed Harry to resurrect Voldemort. Could they resurrect him without Harry's blood, though? Yes, but then he would have still had that vulnerability. So is it only a certain amount of time? Time and Voldemort only gets hurt because. Nope, it's for, he can touch him forever now. Oh, so, okay, well, I'm confused because in the movie we see him come back for the first time where... That's blood... before he gets resurrected. Really? Yes. I thought that's when he was resurrected. No, he's resurrected in the fourth movie. Uh, the fourth? 
Mm-hmm. Goblet of Fire. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. When he's resurrected for the first time. Yes, he touches Harry and it doesn't hurt him. That's the whole point. Okay, but can I say something? Yeah. In the movie, the Voldemort was like, I can touch you now. And it was like, right. put, that's and the then whole after point. a few seconds, he was. Voldemort was like, ah, and pulled away like he was being harmed. No, he did not. And then he said, well, I guess only a few drops of your blood would do. He That's never me. said that. I'm so confused. Because you're making up lines, because he never said that. But making uh, Lego sets hollow is a pretty common thing for Lego. You'll see a lot of like mock builders and stuff. That's the way that they will do things, wow, uh, especially when they do those. Destroyed. Especially when they do those big statues and kind of things, they will make them hollow. Okay, why it will break easier? Um, it because it's less weight and so it's more stable that way. Okay, that's true. It's not stable when it comes to punches, though, because that hollow ability comes, it may be stable, but that making it hollow also comes with a big price, meaning it's easier to break by yes. force. Yeah, if it were to get knocked over, it would be easier to break. You're correct. In fact, that's the exact strategy one of the uh, people do in Brickmaster, so it so that their thing will break easier. Mm. Here. In the explosion episode, they said, all right, we want our build to be hollow so it's easier to blow up from the inside. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, they have to do what they have to do. Yeah. Bergmasters is very different than Real Lego building sometimes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I was talking about this set. Yeah. At least uh, we've never purposely driven our car off. You know what I'm talking about? Get yeah. a 30 second advantage, drive your yeah. car. That was a very funny moment of Brickmasters. No, you had to remember the car and are if you copy it be it the best you got the 30 second advantage and the funny part was the person who got it didn't even stay in there for a, I think only stayed in there for a second in a few milliseconds yeah and drove straight off didn't they yeah okay. I'm surprised There's they those tires. didn't even hit anybody on the way out well they kind of brushed someone okay do you want to help me do this we're going to put um these on. I'll do I'll do black, you do white. Okay. Swap. Okay. So just let's separate them out into two different colors. Yeah, just grab them. Okay. So we're gonna go this way. so sure about this, but I guess it will work. 
cannot put a lot of pressure on these if you're playing chess. What would I get? Uh, oh. What happened there? And there. Oh no! That one went blind. Listen. Listen, I know you might like the song, I believe I can fly, but you are not allowed to fly. You need to stay put as a Lego piece. Okay, so chess question. Do you always stay on the black squares or do you always stay on the white squares? Well, I guess that's checkers. No, that, um, yeah, but unless you count the bush up, the bush up has to stay, stay on the- On the one color. Yeah. Yep. Two, three, four. Let me count so it would be easier for me to calculate. Okay. Calculation. So, Dad, are you working on my, on your side or my side? Uh, oh, that's what the tires are for, to make it stay put. Oh, Because okay. if, like, I try to move it, it's and really it's hard. Yeah. Here, do we need to move it closer? That better. Yeah, that's I don't think I've ever built a chessboard before. None of us have. <laughs> Masters. Lego Masters to make the derby thing. Do you oh, know the track, the, yeah. the remote control base. Wait, ha have you guys figured anything out about that? Because I would actually like to know if that's a purchasable item. That, um, that would be cool to know when it, uh oh, I dropped one. Okay. Do I have all my white squares placed? No. I got another road to do. Here you go, and I will just take all these. Okay. I think we're gonna have to help oh. me here in a second. I'm going kind of slow. I hey, know. Did you mind? I'm back. Sure, push them down good, okay? I'm not. Did you drop one? Yep. Okay. It's a half square. It's a half square. Yeah. So wait. Is a uh, quibbler? Quibbler? Qu quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. The quibbler is, is the newspaper yes, yes, yes. that Luna's dad writes. And is also trying to be arch nemesis with the Daily Prophet. Yes. Because Daily Prophet's evil because they run by umbrage and the whole. If I see one stream of pink in this set, I'm... Uh, there's no pink. Okay, thank goodness. Because I would be so mad if I saw pink. Because, well, not just pink in general, but, like, the pink umbrages have, like... No, keep you going. Know, 
The pink on the Diagon Alley set, you know that shade of pink? Yeah, it was very different, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the pink I'm talking about. Lots of pearl gold little things in this. Those are called pearl gold? Mm -hmm. This guy's pearl gold? Yep. Then how come he doesn't look like a pearl? I don't know. That's, that's gold. What they, that's what they call it. I don't know who came up with the names of the colors, but it is definitely called pearl gold. Is pearl gold an actual color on the color wheel or something? I don't think so. Also, if you don't know how to properly set this up, there's always the instruction book, or you could follow basic chess things and and try to take your your queen on the side you want. Hey, <laughs> I've already finished the next step too. Well, I'm sorry that I take my time. <laughs> Okay, I don't build Lego sets 24-7 like you do. I'm I'm more of a Lego video game builder. You, well, I, I'm, I'm, more, I'm better when I use my creativity. Okay, the base is just about done. Give me a good chance to do all these little torches. Corners got taller ones. Of course they do. They're corners. Yeah. As in four corners. Okay. Add it down, add it yeah. down. Okay, so there is the base. That is bag one. There's the bottom side of it there. Um, Weirdest now, bottom side I've ever yeah. seen. So now for bag two, we're going to do bag two two and bag four at the same time, right? Four and five? Four, two and four. Um, two and four. Okay. So if you hang on to five, I'll hang on to three, and we're gonna do two and four at the same time, following the same direction. We don't, we're going to assume that they are the same though. Ooh, ooh I got wrong. I think the only ooh, difference is, is that, uh-oh is that you got a minifigure in yours and I didn't. I think I lost it. Need to find it. I'm trying to build it, build it, build it. Okay, and you should also have a frog card. A frog card? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's wait, face wait, down wait. also. Okay, let's okay. keep it like that. Let's keep it like that until the bush up in Ron is built. No. The first bush. These are pawns. We're building pawns. Oh, right. Pawns. 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 Okay. Build Ron, and then we'll we'll take guesses on what it is, okay? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's not another Rowena because we have two of those. Ravenclaw, yeah. We have two of those. Yep. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can't remember the second one that we got in the fluffy encounter we'll have to go back and look i don't even remember it was uh the fantastic it, beast guy newt scamander yeah newt it was newt and rowena we got in that i don't think it was newt i don't remember that you said we maybe it was olivander we'll have to go back and look you said we got uh him well, I think that's what I Wait, I think it was a uh, Hufflepuff. Helga? Okay. Okay. It might have been Hubble or Helga, Helga or Nicholas. Because okay. I remember you saying Nicholas, but maybe you were okay. wrong or something. Alright, what's the guess on this one? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to guess the gold back Dumbledore again. Okay. I'm going to guess they're in the... You turned up this one, the normal one, or the one with the silver background? Oh, uh, silver. Okay. I'm going to go with Gilderoy Lockhart. Gilder? The faker? Yep. Why is he famous? Oh my gosh, I got it right. You scared me. Gilderoy Lockhart. All right. You scared me. All right. 
So this first one, we're going to do eight times each, okay? Because they're pawns. Yep. And I think that's the, all that's in this bag is just pawns. Yeah. Hey, do you think they add like an extra queen or something in the next bag? Because in nope. normal chess, if Remember the box showed us you get one queen, one king. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, but in normal chess, if you, uh, if you have pawn to the other team's, uh, like, wall don't forget point, to build. Wall point, uh, you get, you get you to change change it into any of the soldiers you want no. that that's not king no you can just change it into king or pawn you can get your queen back if you've lost your queen if you get your pawn to the other side oh really? yeah okay um, yeah. looks like a miner's hat it is. and you're gonna put it on backwards so there's it's a, a little it's supposed to be like a soldier helmet I think it's a miner's helmet. Like No, it's a, supposed to look like. Yes, but it is a miner's helmet. You put two swords in it, and that's the pawn. And we're going to be doing that multiple times here. simple but they look cool once they're done there's not many sets where you can do this where you can build at the same time yeah anyways anyways did I mention there is actually a normal not wizard's chest but like a genuine lego chess set that you're actually supposed to play chess with there is there has been that i know of there's been two lego chess sets made and this is the third hey dad do you think we're actually going to play chess with it or just have it on display probably just have it on display Maybe we can just make a video where we're playing chess with this with this set. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Anyways, I'm. T Wait, actually, I think you were right about the pop up part. But it would be cool if they did it like whenever like like it's supposed to explode. You can like go up there and boom. You know what would be nice about having a second version of this set? What? If you were somebody that was doing something, making a mock, like a medieval kind of mock or something, there is a lot of swords. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of swords in this because there's 16 in each of these just for the uh, pawns. Also, did I mention in some of the others, there's like a little knight helmet, like here, yeah. here's one yeah. right here. In the bag. You guys can't see it, but I can. Go fight him, man. How many have you done? Because I've done three. No! He's outdoing us! He's gonna take over our kingdom! Make more mean! Mean! No faces, right? Just little bricks basically yeah round bricks yeah not even many figure heads they're not many figure heads they're like half they're, heads they're supposed to be kind of dead. that's this <laughs> and as i'm going through this i don't see any pieces in here that are not pawn pieces so i think this bag is just pawns yeah and besides mine besides mine yes so once we finish the pawns we will move on to the other bags the mons having the miner's helmet on backwards almost makes it look like it has a little ponytail And I 
even supposed to look at the back of it. I think that's insulting to them. <laughs> I do remember in the movie, and it's been, oh, well, I haven't been that long since we watched it, but um, I do remember the back of their helmets looking kind of weird. Not like I had a pony, but there was something back there. So the miner's helmet is actually not a bad choice for this. It does look very... Maybe it's actually supposed to be the miner's helmet for that reason. Maybe. Looks like in the next bag for our other pieces, we get mini figureheads. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So even more reason to use this as maybe a mock. If you were doing a mock, there's a lot Except of Except they don't have faces. Yeah. But there's a lot of good pieces in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a whip right here. Yeah. Whip. Watch me whip. I don't know how to do it. I, I used to do it. I got two more to do. Nope. <laughs> you're not taking my pieces. I will if you're not done. I'll do one. <laughs> I'm pretty quick. <laughs> Build faster. Do you know who sings that song, the whip song? No. Um, I don't know her first name, but she is Will Smith's daughter. The someone Smith? Yep. Will Smith was the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh. Oh. I was like, what? He is he real? Wood? I was like, wait, what? The only one who really does royalty nowadays is England. Like, England's the only place that still has royalty and stuff. That's not true. There are lots oh. of other countries that okay. do. Well, England's the only one I know of. Okay, mine had one extra sword, and that was the only extra piece. Alright, I'm done with mine. Let me do one of yours. Okay, fine. One. Only that one. Okay, fine. You can do several if you want. So, okay. And what's up? What would happen if Harry Potter met Looney Tunes? That would be weird. <laughs> yeah, the movies at least are owned by the same company. So they could do like a crossover or something. If they wanted to. That's, that would be a very weird crossover. Or just like a small like episode of Looney Tunes. Or maybe uh, an episode of that Harry Potter show. Yeah. That they're make, that oh, they're, yeah. that's rumored. Looks like yours is gonna have one extra sword in it too, and that's it. Really? Yep. Really? So an, an extra bags, sword. Both bags are exactly the same. Call one and then an extra sword. Oh, call that extra sword, an extra sword. Oh. There you go. Okay. And I bet we turn the page and it says to open back three. Wait, wait. Yep. <laughs> Harry, Ron, and Hermione did play black because I remember Ron saying white moves first. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why did they pick black though? 
They didn't have any choice. Why? It was just the way that was set up. Okay. Yeah. Now in chess tournaments, I believe you draw the queen out of a bag. And whoever draws white then gets to be white. Okay. I think I have the last figure, right? Yep. So we're going to do bag three and bag five at the same time. Yep. And this chocolate frog card is also upside down. All right. All right. Give me the figure. Oh. Anyway, Dad, yep. I'm building one of your men. Okay. Because Hermione was one of the people. Yep. Hermione was a queen or a pawn? Neither. I'm not sure which. I really don't know which character her and Harry took. I know that Ron was a knight because he was riding the horse around. Um. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do anything, big. Okay. Golden I, back dumb, silver back Dumbledore. Godric Gryffindor. Sword okay. Gryffindor. Well, I think that's Helga Hufflepuff. Oh. Yep. So we got three different ones. We got three that we didn't have. We think we might have had Nicholas Pamel. Maybe we'll have to go and check. Okay. So you're going to follow along, but you're going to obviously do it in white, right? And this is not a two times thing that I see anywhere. So this is going to be a turn the page kind of thing. Once we're this both is going to be the king or the queen. This is the king, I believe, right? Yeah, this is the king. Wait, the king sits on that throne, though. No. It would be cool he if he had a big added... sword, and then when he lost, he dropped the sword. Oh, okay. So wait. You're saying that wizarding chess is like some pokemon where you have to earn their trust in order to use them yep yep and i believe that ron gave harry a chess set for christmas so that harry could start building trust with his own people instead of having to borrow from somebody else wait Harry bought Ron? No, Ron bought Harry. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Wedge. No, I need a diamond. I wonder if the queen's gonna have like a crown head. Um, it looked like it was just like a round dot on top kind of thing. Oh, it'd be cool if they give her a crown head. Yeah. Very reverse colors. Even the gray studs are like reverse. I think the gray studs were the same. I think yours are darker than mine. Okay. Hmm. What? Yeah, see, look. Oh, yeah. That's funny. I don't know what the point of that is because they're, I mean, it's inside. Well, how do you know? Okay, yeah, you're right. It's inside. Oh, well. Maybe to signal more black and white differences? I guess so. Who do you think invented chess? Um, I believe it was invented by actual knights as a way to train strategy for combat. strategy for combat. Yep. Whether that or or build knight of science, whether that or build Benjamin Franklin built it yeah. as one of his greatest. It's definitely games. older than Benjamin Franklin. It's a very old game. We have very old records of it being played. What's our oldest? I don't know. Okay, there's mine. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. 
I'm not sure which square he was on. I'm just putting him up there. Oh, um, yeah, that's, that should be the, yeah, that's the right square because the queen, all, in regular chess, the queen always goes on her colored square. Okay. So that should be right. And okay. The king, yes. I am happy that we got, I don't think we've done, I mean, this is our third set to do. I don't think we've opened a set up yet that um, we've gotten two of the same cards in that set. We did get a repeat of Rowena Ravenclaw. Yeah. But she wasn't in the same set as another one. So that was good. What are you looking for, buddy? Uh, I found it. Okay. I found two. This is gonna be a weird build because like we're gonna finish bag three and then be done. Yep. So it's gonna be pretty short. Yep. This piece right here. Where's the sword? The sword of the king! It, wait, no, it's not this sword. It's different. It's supposed to be longer. Mm -hmm. Do you have the right sword? Yeah. Okay, yeah. It, that's the sword. They're the same size. Really? Yep. But... It just looks it, longer, but wait, it's Wait, can, can we go to the pawn page real quick? Uh, Here are the swords from the pawns. Okay, compare it. Wait, no. I, I'm talking about in the book. Um... You can't tell because it's holding them. It's different, see? Okay. I'm holding one of the swords from the pawns. It's the same. Oh, you're right. There is a different sword. Okay. You're right. There's more of a broad sword kind ah, of thing. Here, yeah, here, this one. Yeah. It's like okay. a normal Lego sword. It is. It's different. Okay. I switched mine out. You were right. I was wrong. Yay, finally. I'm finally right. And you're playing mini figurehead. I am. This looks more like a giant knight than a king, though. Well, kings were kind of giant knights. Hey, does each uh, set have kind of a, um, his own different looking uh, guy? Like, I don't think I, so. I'm pretty sure when I saw Ron's king, it was like, like, or was it the queen? Well, one of, well, okay. this one is of, also a single up. So is this this the queen, this is the, the queen. queen the queen yeah because when I saw Ron's king or queen they were like Bill. sitting okay, they were sitting down in a chair and they were sitting down something was sitting down in a chair and they picked it up and hit with it yeah but I don't think that they're doing that yeah maybe maybe it's different for this maybe yeah. maybe wait that. Like what? I said, maybe uh, like each set is different depending on what set you buy. It's like the set chooses the wizard Ron. <laughs> um, I can't find the piece I need. Oh, here it is. Yeah. I think this is one of your pieces. Wait, no, it's not. It's probably mine. Yeah, here, here's what I was looking for. Black rod. It's switched. Just switched. Well, how do you know? 
Do you have some white ones, right? Yeah, but I think those are for something else. Okay, let's just double check. So the king did get a black rod, and the queen does get a black rod. Okay. Still with the colored. It's like inverted for me. Yeah. Like. Which is funny. On your phone, turn on inverted colors, and it's probably gonna be like I'm the black guy and you're the red and you're the white guy. Probably not something you want to say out of context. Oh no, I was talking about the pieces. Yes, I know. Okay, and then her crown is just a dot. A dot? Yep. Add the dot. Aha. Uh -huh. And then she is holding a black rod. Oh, I... Yours will be holding a white rod. See? Do you need help finding something? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Where are you? Oh, yeah. That was the piece I had a hard time finding, too. We got a king and queen. What do you think we're going to do next? Do you think we're going to go this way or we're going to go this way? Uh, I think we're going to be doing it. Um, there's a major problem I have with chess and that's I can't figure out the difference between where the bishops and the knights go. So it goes rook, bishop. I'm sorry, Rook, Knight, Bishop. Rook, Knight, Bishop. Okay, so I think we're going to do the Knight next. Okay. Who says it has to be in order? I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. The YouTube algorithm? And also, I think it was Ron's king that did the smacky chair thing. No, I think it was the queen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm pretty sure I saw a beard, but okay. I'm very certain it was the queen. What's this rod for? That's what she's going to use to smash things with. Yep. <laughs> okay. Next page. Pawns? No. So we are going to do this twice. I just don't know what character this is supposed to be holding a whip. We might have to go back to the box. Looks like the bishop. Yep, the bishop. The bishop. Okay. It looks like a magic wand, though. So remember, this one we're going to do two times. Yes. Very different from the pawns, though. With it's like a hundred times. Build, buddy. I'm gonna be done way but before you. It's it just feels like a Beyblade, okay? Beyblade. Well, not. I know, but still. Everything gets a white stick inside. What do you mean? Time to 
to put my black stick inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Hang on. Hang on. Wait. What? What? Bathroom. Okay, go quick. Okay. Okay. We are working on our bishops, we decided, right? Did you, did, did you just operate these pieces here? Yep. Hey, what would happen if an, if like an object that was not living was like linked or something you know the bad thing that happens whenever you uh apparate and then you accidentally apparate into something or someone's touching you and you have to separate and you go a different direction than them yes i don't know that that's possible i don't know yeah Good so question. like two items like touch into each other but they're going like different courses would they like be oh i don't want to say it but like Juan's arm at that time kind of gave me the creeps to be honest like oh yeah it was like weird like the skin like unrolled it was yeah. like keep working take a cinnamon roll and that's what his arm looked like yeah, but don't wrap it up completely. Like, wrap it up to cover some parts of, like, a tube or something. Mm -hmm. And then that part, and then the part that's open would be... I don't really... That was... Well, it's kind of weird, wasn't it? They call it getting splinched. Yeah, splinched. How do you fix getting splinched? There's a potion. Hermione used it? Mm hmm Was it the only potion for splinching she had? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what she has in her bag yeah. of infantry? Yeah. She can hold 20 tents in there probably. Maybe more. Maybe. Her tent. Her it's bag kind of is making like, minifigures. Her bag is like Kirby's stomach. Basically, it has like a black, like a uh, black hole. No, not black hole, but a uh, pocket dimension in this in it. Yeah. Well, that's technically what the charm, the expansion charm is, makes it to a. Uh, yeah. Wait, oh. wait. What? Could she be like Nicholas Flamel and whenever she needed to hide, just open her bag, bag drop in and close it up? Like, wee! Your turn up news, Commander. Yeah, new. new yes. New. <laughs> okay. Ooh. If, to me, whenever this one thing is fully assembled, mm -hmm. it... To me, it just looks like a wizard's wand. Yeah. Kind 
You got one done? Yeah. Okay, I'll start the next one for you. You're right here. Let's take a stick and shove it down the stomach part. Yeah. Wait, since the wizard chess pieces are kind of alive, but they're not truly living, do you think that they technically, technically could splink? Splinch? Splinch? No, probably not. I will just lay the pieces out here for you in case you missed them. Are these uh, wizard chess pieces technically magical creatures, though? Uh, I think they're just enchanted. Who enchants them? Uh, whoever came up with the chess part of the... Uh-oh, you're losing my face. <laughs> I don't remember who came up with the chess part of the challenge. You're skipping steps. Well, it has to be either Dumbledore or Nicholas or no. maybe Hagrid. Nicholas didn't come up with anything. Oh. He's not a professor. Each challenge was set up by a different professor. Um... I remember one of the professors said something about playing chess. Hmm, yeah. In the first movie. When Ron and Harry were playing it. Mm -hmm. they so were... maybe it was McGonagall? Wait, she said something about chess? I don't know. I don't remember. But that would make sense. Because um, Snape did a potions challenge. Um, Professor Sprout did the devil snare why oh wait yeah yeah because she's good with plants yeah i think you have that on yeah, yeah. he got splink okay fix it please potion <laughs> ow 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 i it acts i accidentally okay. think ow that actually <laughs> i can't find your other stick Yamas. you keep building i'll keep looking I found it. You keep building. <laughs> okay, this is nowhere near right. Because you're not using the pieces I handed you. What, what happened to the pieces that were up here? This was the one that was up there. Okay. Oh, this one? No. This one you do? That one is needed, and it goes, see, this was the piece that was up there. Yeah. This goes here, and then this goes here. Yeah, I, I, I was following the instructions and using the pieces you gave me. Okay. Okay, so we should be doing knights next, right? Let's go ahead and see. Definitely looks like a knight. Wait, there's one thing I want to point out by the knights. Uh huh. We do technically need Ron to actually complete the set. We, well, we don't. You can do it without him, but you can replace him. All right, so. Oh, okay, so he's a replace. Yeah. So one of these has a replaceable spot for him? They. All wood. Oh, so you just yeah. take off the head and put him on? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Again, this is a thing that you do two times, okay? Okay. So, wait. How did Cornelius, uh... How... What? Um, how did... What movie is this from? First. Oh, what's it called? Um, oh, Sorcerer Stone or in some in other places, something else. Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone? No. Nope. Officer Stone? Philosopher's Stone. Officer's Stone? Okay. Sorry, I'm doing that on purpose. 
I'm aware. That's the king. That's the queen. That's the bishop. It does show black. Okay, so it's both black? Yep. Wow. I think that this gun piece thing only comes in black. I don't think they've made it in a different color. So I guess that they were not willing to for this set. Mm hmm. Maybe they thought the set was unimportant enough. Maybe. Contagious yawns. So there you go. We found the first thing that's not inverted. Yay. They're hard to keep upright. Mm-hmm. like a horse person. Horse person? Kind of does. Wait, is, are these based off of the uh, stallions or something? No, it was based off of a knight centaurs, riding a centaurs, horse. Centaurs. centaurs, but like, if if it's like a uh, knight person, then it'd technically be based off of centaurs because they're, or, they're horse people. They're horse people? Yep. They are horse people, hmm? Jeez, oh, there goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What's okay. This? Normal swords again. Whoa, that's cool. But what? It's like for it's like he's jousting. Yeah. Because the sword's pointed straight. Yeah. Pretty cool. I don't know why I keep humming when we build Harry Potter the song just comes to my head okay, stop that. sorry who came up with cheese I, I don't think we know I think we just know about the time period that started getting played. Okay. Okay. All right, there are my knights. Wow. Um, I think it, wait, yeah, yeah, I think it is actually McGonagall because Gryffindor's all about bravery, and you would have to be yep. pretty brave to be on one of these. Yeah. So, I think it is McGonagall. Maybe. 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 Where's the go? Where's the go? Ah, here it is. Good luck finding them. <laughs> Got a tail and everything, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I already got the stands ready, so. I saw that. Good job. 
First one, finally on. Okay. Here's my button. Okay. Now it's time. Here's to the second one. I just finished this step right here. Look. Wait. I just oh. finished this step right here. Oh, wait. So you're wait. on this step right here. Oh, I did something wrong. What? I thought it was both. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'll fix this when you start working on that one. Okay. Oh no, I did it. I made the normal arm. That doesn't hold things. I had already done that one. You're I know, on the, I accidentally did it. You're on this one, the one that does. Okay, he is fixed. How? You haven't broken. Okay, is that one done? Yep. Good job. Alright, let's turn That's the page. That's the one that I thought exploded. Mm. So Probably. Because, like, yeah, it looks like it's, like, exploding off. Yeah. Because of... Okay, so we're doing this one two times two. Okay. Two I times. think this is the last one. So we should be using all of our pieces, right? Mm -hmm. bet, bet. I mean, we do it twice, so... Yes. And these are the uh, rooks. Yes. I like the rooks better than the others because, well, even though they look unnaturally... They don't look like castles. Yeah. And I think rook is another word for castle, and that's why they're called rooks. I, I'm not quite sure. I don't look that stuff up. Um, I, castles had a rookery. I think that's where the word came from. A rookery? Yeah, it was like a, a room. It was a part of the castle kind of thing. Was it those towers? I'm not sure. Towers that are all on the edges that the archers stand from? No. It's like they're holding down the fort with their shields. Yeah. All right, man, we gotta hold down the fort. But okay. But okay. But okay. Okay, we got it. Thank you. I don't know why I started saying that. I am weird in more ways than one. This is a weird hand. Yeah, I, I don't think it is a hand. It goes on the back. What's it supposed to be then? I don't know. What are you supposed to be? Hey, 
Has anyone ever attempt, attempted a Lego Harry Potter video game Nuzlocke? I don't think there would be a Nuzlocke. Well, what I'm saying is that they can't die at all or they lose. I don't think that they do that outside of the, the game that you're wanting to talk about. I mean, they kind of do it in the movies. Yeah. And That's the game I'm talking about is the game we recorded that one time. I think I know what's going on with the shield now, at least. Yeah. I have a lot of helmets left over. Really? No. Check if I see one of your men is missing one. No? Oh, uh, yeah. They sure are. That's funny. Well, that solves your helmet problem. Yep. Sure does. Oh, it is an arm. It's an arm from the back. What? Uh oh. So wrong. Hmm. Okay. How is this supposed to go on? Yeah. All right. Extra pieces. Um, I, I. It just goes on. Like this? Yep. Okay. Alright. It looks like it's supposed to go on like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's supposed to go on like this, I think. Yeah, it looks fairly similar to the picture if you look okay. exactly at the angle. Okay. So it's supposed to be the two studs. So they did match. We haven't had any issues of non-matching. So that was cool. Owie. Hi, Dean. Oh no, I'm sorry, you should only have two. Okay. I'm thinking of doing two of them at the same time, you've already done one. Yep. So there are those, I already put those together. I have the weird arm thing on the back. This is the weirdest arm I have ever seen. Um, these are the wrong piece, Dad. No, they're not. Oh! I thought they were a different piece because they were combined together. They, the mistakes we make on this channel. Yep. Are you gonna fix your men? Um, I think that you're doing it wrong. It doesn't look right when you have it like that. Really? I think we get it. Well, it does stick up. Okay. That's 
That's weird. I don't like it like that. Oh. And done. How do you do it where it sticks out? Okay. Uh, by the I two got studs. It. Yeah, two I got studs. it. Oh no. Okay. Charge. Give me your extra pieces. Here you go. What? I, I changed it. Oh. Okay. So, we're done. Even though we still have half the book to go. Um, here is our completed set. There is no way to get the figures. Checkmate. Yeah, there is no way to get the figures on because they actually move because you can actually play chess with them. Um, they do fall I over pretty easily. I know Hermione was a queen and Ron was a... Uh... Hermione was not a queen. Okay. Here are pawns. Okay. Um, here are rooks. Okay. Here are bishops, and they are opposites in pretty much every way, with the exception of the knights. Uh, here are the knights. Even though that's basically covered. Yep. Okay. Queens. The knights. And then the kings. Where are the kings? Right here. Okay. So that is it for pretty much the pieces here. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Move this out of the way. Let's get it backwards. Yep. Let's look at the minifigures here. Okay. Yay. All right, we've got 20th anniversary Snape. He does say 20 years on the back. 20 years Lego Harry Potter. Uh, he does have a little bit of shimmer to him. He's got some stars kind of on his chest there. He just has the one kind of angry face, the golden wand. There's the back and then the golden hair piece here for snake it does really without the black hair it doesn't look very or the details of the robes it doesn't look very snapish um then we've got the trio um and they are all in basically kind of christmas attire even though this didn't happen at christmas time um here is hermione she's got short gray legs she's got a christmas sweater on she's got a pleasant face she's got a scared face the christmas sweater detail goes onto the back. She's got her long Hermione hair. And then we have Ron. And Ron's in a jacket. And this jacket, I believe, is the same jacket he has on um, in the um, Whomping Willow set, but it's open instead of closed. So it's his kind of plaid jacket. He's got a smiley face and then a scared face and his long red hair. And then finally, Harry is in this red sweater it looks like it's got like a tear in it, maybe. Right Can here. I see? I see. Oh, that is a tear. Yeah. It's a tear from playing chess. Um, and then you've got the, the details on the back. He's got the happy face and the scared face. And then his longer hairy hair. And that is pretty much this set. Wait, who came up with the key room? Um, the... Uh, lady that teaches them flying. I can't remember her name off the top of my No, that's not who teaches them flying. Alright, that is it for this time. Until next time. Happy building. Happy building, everyone.